Wool has a bad rap as being itchy and uncomfortable, but not all wool has this prickle factor. It all comes down to the fineness of the wool. How do you know if a fiber is next to skin soft? Hi friends, this is Megan with Lutherian Fiber Arts. Today, we're gonna talk about micron count. What is a micron? A micron is a unit of measurement equal to 0.001 millimeter, and it is super tiny. For context, human hair averages 40 to 80 microns. A piece of notebook paper is 70 to 180 microns thick. When we talk about the micron count of fiber, we're talking about the average diameter of the fiber, or how thick the individual fibers are. To measure the micron count of fiber, samples of fleeces are sent into labs where they are measured using a micrometer. A micrometer is like a very, very tiny ruler. My micrometer measures in 10 micron increments, but professional grading labs are much more precise. Skin is the most sensitive organ in the human body. It makes sense that the thicker the fiber is, the easier it is for us to feel it. Try this experiment. Close your eyes, take a single strand of your own hair, or your friends. I'm not picky, just ask first. Drag the tip of that hair across the back of your hand. You should be able to feel that individual hair move across your skin. That's prickle factor in action. And our skin is so sensitive that we can feel fibers as fine as nine microns. What the commercial wool industry doesn't want you to know about micron count. Good evening, this is Bill O'Gruffy, reporting to you from Goat Nightly News. The tin can stops here. Does that sweater you got from your local big chain store say 100% wool? How about that yarn you picked up at the hobby store? The answer may surprise you. While that product you picked up certainly started on a sheep, not all wools are created equal. Wool can range from ultra-fine merino which can be as soft as cashmere, all the way to coarse hair breeds which are only suitable for hard-wearing textiles like rugs. Chances are you won't have a microscope handy to test the micron count of the wool while you're in the store. One trick fiber artists use to test how soft a wool is before you buy it is to rub it on your wrist or neck. These areas of your skin are very sensitive. If it feels soft to the touch on the inside of your wrist, you likely won't have any problems wearing it. Wools with a higher micron count will feel itchy or prickly. Every wool has its use but not every wool should be a scarf or sweater. Don't let advertisers pull the wool over your eyes. Megan, back to you. As sensitive as skin is, anything lower than an average of 28 microns is considered to be next to skin soft, meaning that your skin shouldn't be able to discern each individual fiber in a scarf or a sweater. That means no itch. While this is a generally used number to determine if something is next to skin soft, remember that some individuals are more or less sensitive than others. Also, remember there are other factors which impact how soft a fiber feels, not just its diameter. Other factors include crimp, microscopic structure of the hair, presence of guard hair, or if it was dyed or chemically treated. While micron count can give you a good idea of how soft a fiber will be, it doesn't always tell the full story. Let's review. A micron is a very tiny unit of measurement that we use to measure things that are too small to measure with millimeters or centimeters. In fiber arts, micron count is only one piece of the puzzle that helps us determine how soft a fiber is and what projects it would best be used in. The lay term for when a textile feels itchy or rough against the skin is prickle factor. Wools can be super soft, like cashmere, or so rough that they can only be used in projects like rug making. 
most commercially available wool products will fall somewhere in the middle and you'll have to tell for yourself if the quality of a particular item matches the price tag for you. Reserve your finest fibers for projects that will touch sensitive areas like your neck and your face, even the wrists. Not everything needs to be ultra fine though. Medium fibers are a great option for less sensitive projects. Socks, mittens, blankets. As always, choose the right wool for the project. Now it's your turn. What other factors besides micron count do you think impacts how soft a fiber feels and why? Besides measuring wool, how else do you think micron count can be used? What other fiber arts applications can you think of for micron count? Thank you for joining us today. You can find more information about fiber arts on our YouTube page or on our website, www.luthvarian.com. You can also find my articles in both Ply and Spinoff magazines. Please smash that like button and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for more great spinning tips.